This is the first time we take it out of Paris and we are celebrating it in Morocco. So what we hope to achieve today at the Paris Peace Forum for this spring meeting with our partners at UM6P is to find new policies, new formulas that can advance fair transitions. A platform where people will meet and talk and debate different thoughts and different ideas and discuss uh, urging issues around the world. Be dialogue between private sector, public sector, global north, global south to get broad consensus on what needs to be done. We're trying to save global coordination, the common action for the green transition, for biodiversity, for critical minerals, for African agriculture, from these tensions. And so that's what we de dedicate today to. I hope my contribution uh, you know, will be uh, on the issue, you know, of course, to address the uh, sustainability and uh, climate mitigation and um, biodiversity protection. Uh, that, those are our, uh, the focus uh, of our work. Uh, it's, in a way, it's a form of multilateral um, diplomacy or governance. Uh, and among these critical topics, agriculture, and especially agricultural transitions in Africa, has been identified as a top priority. Yeah, I think that that forum is crucial because today, you know, we're facing, uh, the, the world is facing a whole series of challenges, uh, including the you know, three planetary, so-called three planetary crises. The lingering effects of the COVID pandemic, conflicts that just destabilized communities, destabilized services, um, the food price crisis, which makes it more and more difficult for families to purchase nutritious food, and of course, the climate crisis. It's important for at least two or three reasons. One is we need more dialogue, more discussions between North and South. I think uh, the main reasons for lack of peace uh, that we are living in now is the lack of dialogue. Normally people go to violence when there is no room for discussion, for talking, for finding common solutions to problems. We need action. And so what we're doing today is a series of launches of policy initiatives that are meant to devise better policies for uh, addressing that North-South issue and more generally global challenges. I actually often question if Global South and Global North make sense anymore because I think the true stratification is along socioeconomic quintiles. So we get to actually see an actual implementation for what we actually discuss. I see the possibilities but we need a global platform to facilitate that. Lastly because um, at a time where geopolitical tensions are increasing uh, and that's why we call the Paris Peace Forum we're not acting directly on those wars on those ongoing wars and so in this context we need to make sure that this transition all these transitions are fair fair uh, within countries uh, between uh, the elite and, uh, and the middle class uh, but also geographically between the north and the south and it also you know when, when the forum bring in some way brings the world to this university uh, right in front of all these uh, young students i think it will also hopefully you know, help them uh, to gain new perspectives and, um, uh, and, and be inspired to join the global effort. Peace is not only the absence of conflict, but it has to be part of peace, the absence of conflict.